Hello fellow trainers, tis I the Rumpel One. I know it's been a while, but I've been busy here at the ranch and as any of you who've been watching my videos know, since I'm at the ranch, I really don't have 24-7 internet access. So um, I have to go into town if I want to you know, sit there or I can use my cell phone and trade that way. So I've had to adjust my trading style slightly. Today, I was reading uh, something from Sam Sneeden, or Sneiden. Anyway, he doesn't like squiggly lines. It was funny because, you know, I've been saying that for years, and I get beat up all the time, but for some reason, people don't beat up on Sam. But, looks like we're on the same wavelength. We don't like squiggly lines. Only difference is, is a lot of times, Sam talks about the concept of supply and demand and so you know he'll have you'll see his chart and he'll say you see back here we're going to identify something called a demand zone okay and so what we're going to do is is when price touches here we're going to buy and we're going to put our stop loss right here now there's nothing wrong with that it's just that to me, whenever you start to put conceptions on what you see on the chart, then you lose your objectivity because you see somebody might say, well, here's demand right here. And somebody else might call it another someplace else on the chart. So what I like to do is I just look at the chart and go, you know what? This is the lowest point on the chart. It could be a weekly low or a daily low. Well, if it's a daily low, it'll be a weekly low. Okay, so this is the lowest point on the chart. Just like right here, this is the highest point on the chart. So as you guys know that have used my indicators, I've got a few highest high and lowest low indicators out there. Some plot lines. Summer gauges tell you how far price is away from it. So, point is, is that, especially now that I trade, if I place a trade, my stop is going to be at the lowest low. So, depending on where I enter the trade, I'm going to adjust my position size. So, I can give price lots of wiggle room but I'm always risking the same. And you see, many people, many traders don't understand that. They'll have the same size, always either in shares or lots, and they'll have the same stop loss, a dollar, 50 cents if you're trading stocks, maybe 10, 20 pips if you're trading currencies. But you see, it doesn't really work that way and a lot of times you guys know you wind up getting stopped out of trades only to see price eventually reverse and you would have made money so to eliminate all that nonsense I think maybe in one of my previous videos I talked about that one indicator uh, that automatically calculates your position size based on where price is relative to the lowest low and highest high so once again, as Sam would be buying here, and with the possibility of getting stopped out, the rumpled one would say, wait a minute, I would get an alert right here, possibly. Or say if this was within 20 pips of the lowest low, I'd get an alert. And so now, if price comes down here, it's entering what I would call... <laughs> my buy zone. Then, as if price turns around, right here is the last place I would want to enter. So, if price actually went through here and then did that, you see, Sam gets stopped out. Rumpel one still waiting to enter the trade. So, I hope you've learned something. Once again, price is the same on all charts. So rather than ask me what time frame I'm looking at, it's no, I'm looking at the highest high, highest low, period. So you want to look as much 
and as much chart as possible. So maybe you look at the daily or the weekly because the lowest low on the daily is going to be the lowest low on a one minute chart if you look at enough data. If you don't understand that concept, then you need to stop trading till it sinks in. Because all this talk about time frame, it's a myth. Price is the same on all charts. And as far as concepts like supply and demand, works great in economics. But when you get in trading, let's look at absolutes. Because if it's the lowest low on my chart, it's going to be the lowest low on your charts. We might disagree on a lot of things, but this is something that's a fact. It's not an opinion. So, remember, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it.